Hey gents, over the past two years, I've picked up some great pairs of denim for the channel. I wanna talk about these specifically today. I'm working on a more like holistic roundup of denim in general and what to expect at different price points. I'll put a link to that below so that once that guide is available, it'll be out there. But I wanna apply the learnings from wearing these pairs into the rest of what I've learned about denim. And this like spectrum that I've really discovered is you have like fashion jeans, which are J. Crew, Old Navy, Banana Republic, and Express, like the fashion fashion brands, and then you have designer and luxury brands, and there's this big, you know, like D-squared, I think True Religion's kind of up there, very expensive, you're essentially paying for the label, and then the middle, you have real jeans, and that's what I'm really interested to talk about today. That's where I lump in Brave Star, Distilled, or DSTLD, Gustin, and that's the brands I'm going to talk about today, so the ones you've seen me unbox on the channel before, just kind of doing a review of these after a few years, keeping with my theme of Friday roundups that I've been trying to stick with for the past few weeks. I'll put links to each of the brands, and timestamps if you want to jump around the video to a specific brand and you guys are recommended such great companies in the comments and if you want to see some more of those let me know in this video so I don't miss any and then also in my brand tracker I'll put a link in the description of that below too if you want to see some future stuff I'm trying to really get a good guide to denim on the web I'll also put a link to a podcast episode I highly recommend from one of my favorite podcasts 99% invisible they talk about the history of jeans denim Levi's, the environmental impact of indigo dyes, and the like, the difference and why you should really look at raw denim as the great way, like if you're really into it. And as I did my research on this video, I started to get like really excited about like certain salvage and certain, like I really wanna dive into the world of denim. And so if you like this video, thumbs up, subscribe, make sure more videos like this come. I think the best place to start is what I'm calling like my control. This is the Levi's pair that maybe start to care about jeans and denim in general. I picked these up at a Nordstrom rack in Chicago several years ago. They're pretty thin. You know, they've been worn in very much so. I've had these for about eight years. You can see the way that my wallet has formed in here, but you're starting to see the pockets are pulling down and starting to wear out. And then down here, this is the spot that I always end up wearing out is in between my legs. But this is the first pair that really made me care about denim and want to get stuff that fit better. So you, you can see that it's it's worn in well. Uh, these are a washed denim and they're pretty thin. They're made in terms Turkey, but having this red tag really started to make Levi's matter to me. And I'll put a great article on my site written by The Mensch where he talks about Levi's, the main lines, the secret higher end lines. I'll put that link to that below as well. But these have served me well over the years. They're probably uh, about on their last leg. I can kind of see through the denim as I'm looking here. But these serve as a baseline as I start to look at the micro brands that we're gonna cover right now. And I wanna start out with a couple of categories. So today we're gonna look at the brands I picked up. I'm gonna categorize them by the most comfortable, the best fits, and the best value out of the collection that I have here. And you'll see as I go through these, my preferred fit is like a slim, slim taper. I like to have a nice form-fitting feel, very modern look, and all of these jeans, I think if you're going to get a pair of jeans, every guy should have one of these in their closet. It's like a dark wash that can be worn with a blazer. You can wear them with white sneakers, or you could wear them with Oxfords. And so having like one of these pairs, I think is going to be critical as you build out your collection. And I think the best value to start out with is surprisingly, Brave Star. So I'll talk about Brave Star a little bit and I'll also talk about why my choice isn't Gustin, but I still think Gustin is a great choice to go with. Brave Star is like a denim head brand. This is a company that cares about the denim that they're using, where it's sourced from, how it's made. They are very interested in the weights and the stitching. They're very into the details of denim, and I think that's what you really need to look for. And all of their stuff comes in around that $100 price point for raw selvage denim at great weights. This is a great value because it's all made in the US from mostly US sourced. Now they're, the cone mills have gone uh, out of business and that's gonna change their business a little bit. But you're comparing these at $98 to jeans that it's sold at typical stores. And when they talk about cutting out the middleman, uh, you're looking at APC, AG Jeans, Naked and Famous, some of those brands. And that's why these are great value because you're getting almost the same denim for that lower price. And the reason that I recommend Brave Star over Gustin most of the time is because Brave Star has a lot of their stuff in stock and you can just buy it, try it, wear it, and you don't have to wait. 
Gustin has this model, which I'm starting to consider outdated, which is you back a project, then you get it in several months. And for me, that played out in an interesting way. And I talked about this in my previous video. I ordered from Gustin, I waited a few months, I received the jeans, they didn't really fit. Then I went on and I chose from their like stock site, which is some of the stuff that they have in inventory. And then when I received that second pair, they didn't fit either, so I had to send them back. And it was kind of a luck of the draw of what I was gonna get based on their inventory and availability. Whereas Brave Star has a lot of the stuff in stock. Now, doing my research for the video, it looks like Brave Star is moving to more of a pre-order model, which I hope is a temporary thing as they start to figure out some of their new sourcing and their new fabrics. And so right now, as of this video, I think Brave Star is the better way to go. Gustin is an incredible, incredible brand where they are reducing waste in the industry. They have a true wholesale model. You are getting great deals. But the fact that you have to wait for this stuff, to me, is a detriment when you can go to a brand that has extremely similar and sometimes better stuff at nearly the same price and you can get it right now. That being said, let's talk a little bit about Gustin, raw salvage denim. This pair right here cost me $85 and it is one of my absolute favorite pairs of denim. They have straight, slim, and skinny fits in almost all of the sizes. Then they have 34 and 36 inseams respectively for the sizes that you choose. Most of the stuff on their site is made in the USA. Some of it is like their sneakers are made in Italy. So they're trying to go to the best mills, factories, and sources for all of their stuff and offer it to you at great prices. They have plenty of styles, but it's all based on the campaigns that they're running at the time. I think Gustin needs to move to a model where they have like regular inventory, and I, I'm gonna do a video on Gustin specifically. But the pair that I have here is the 101. It's a 32 slim and fits me absolutely perfect in the past two years. It really like formed my body. I've only washed them once and they feel incredible. And the thing that I love about both of these brands, Brave Star, they have this big thick patch for their leather on the back, which can be hidden by a belt, but it's so substantial and so solid. I love that one. Gussin's is a little bit more subtle, but it feels just as high of quality of leather. It's not, you know, they're not skimping out on the leather with this patch just because it's on the back here. You can feel that the Levi's ones have kind of gotten thinner over the years. And then I love the salvage detail on the belt loop here. And then of course, as you roll up and you do your cuffs, you've got some salvage look here. So both of these brands I think are, are great values. If you can get your size in Brave Star, I think this is a great way to go. You feel like waiting, Gustin's another good one. Distilled, or as I said in my previous videos, DSTLD, I think are good. Their model has definitely changed a little bit. My pair here is the 12.7 ounce raw denim 24 dip indigo and timber. And if you look on their site, it's very easy to navigate. They have a lot of sizes and styles and inventory, but not all their denim is raw. So you have to make sure you select the raw denim area and not all their stuff is made in LA. My pair was made in LA, but some of their other stuff, they don't specify where it's from on the website. But if you don't find that made in LA source, then it's made somewhere else. The prices are great. The prices are like 75 to $85 on the denim, especially for the raw selvage, you're getting a pretty good deal. I found that I don't gravitate to these nearly as much as my Gussin denim. So I think they're making some great product and they're definitely offering some value. You're getting some of their stuff which has like a little bit of stretch. And if you're gonna go towards the raw denim route, I think you go with a brand that's more into the denim world. Distilled, I think they're, they have a, a unique model, but I don't think that they're as into some of the details as the true denim brands like Brave Star. The most comfortable jeans, and I've mentioned this before, is a toss up right now between Mott and Bow, not Mott and Bow, as I said in my previous videos, and Revtown. Revtown I opened up very recently, and both of the brands take the traditional cotton denim and add some stretch to them. And so Revtown is made in Guatemala. Mottenbau made in Turkey. This is their slim bleaker medium blue 3134. And it has become one of my main go-to jeans because it feels so comfortable to wear. They slip on very easily. They actually feel a little bit like sweatpants when I wear them, but they look like denim because they are so soft and have that stretch. Revtown, this is their sharp fit, which feels pretty good. It's actually a 3030, but it's long enough on me, which is odd because all my other inseams have to be 34 or 35 in order to get the right fit. It's interesting that Mottenbau achieves this much stretch with 98% cotton, 2% stretch, whereas Revtown has 92% cotton, 6% polyester, 2% elastane. So you're not getting as pure of a denim with Revtown as you are with Mott & Bow, but it comes down to the aesthetic you're looking for. I think Mott & Bow has a little bit of a sleeker aesthetic than Revtown does. I think Revtown would be the preference here at $75 versus Mott & Bow being at $108. Mott & Bow does offer that really unique like try-on sizing. So the first time you order from them, uh, you know, I ordered a 31-34 and then I also had a 32-34 
and then you send back the one that doesn't fit. So it's an interesting way to get you over the hump of ordering online from an unfamiliar brand. But they also have more washes than Revtown, so here it's kind of a toss up. Revtown does have a pretty interesting crate thing where you choose two pairs of denim, two t-shirts, you get a free t-shirt and it all costs less than like designer jeans at $250. And so that's an interesting way to go about it. I also have this Wooster stretch from Mott and Bow and I like them, they're a light wash. I think everybody, once you get like that solid denim in your collection, then you go for a light wash like this. And I like the stretch and everything, but I still, I would still gravitate towards getting like raw selvage denim versus something with the stretch. And then the last one, Mizzen and Main. I don't want to give this one a lot of time because they don't offer it right now, but this is raw stretch denim. It is a similar material makeup to Revtown. It's 90% cotton, 7% polyester, 3% spandex. It is made in the USA. I appreciate that it comes with a 36 inch inseam, so then you go and get it hemmed. Like if you buy a 32 waist, you get a 36 inch inseam, then you get it hemmed to your exact specifications, which is much better than trying to make sure you get the right inseam. I was surprised how slim they are. They're quite slim through the thighs and through the legs. And these don't have nearly as much wash and wear as the other ones, but this is something I can follow up with once they do have some more inventory available. But I'm digging them so far. They are extremely comfortable. I put these right around the, the Revtown Mott and Bow stuff, but they are slightly higher priced, but they're also made in the USA. So choose where you want to go from there. So there you have it, gents. That is a look at my current denim collection and the wear and tear uh, over the past couple of years on those. I'm looking forward to giving some more love to denim on the channel, bringing on some guys that know more about denim than myself. I've been distracted by suits recently and some other stuff, suits and shoes really. But I want to you know, dive more into this stuff. To, to really wrap it up, if you want, I think, the best value in denim right now, go to Brave Star. If Brave Star's aesthetic doesn't really tickle your fancy or they don't have exactly what you're looking for, go to Gustin. Next on that ladder, go check out some of the secret lines that the Mensch talks about in Levi. And then from there, you're getting into some more of the comfort denim so you can go look at Revtown, Mott and Bow, Mizzen and Main. And so I'd love to hear from other brands that you guys are curious about that I can really dive in. You know, brands like Nudies or Unbranded Brand are someone I've always wanted to have on the channel here because I think they're doing similar great stuff. I just don't have them in my collection right now. And so I'm really looking forward to your comments below. You can also reach out at the underscore Cavalier on Twitter and Instagram. If you know somebody that's in the YouTube space or Instagram space that would be interested in doing a video on like really diving into denim, I'm really curious to do that. So, you know, shoot me a message on that as well. And until next time, gents, this is the Cavalier. Mm -hmm.